I have to make money, I have to be successful to be happy. So A, I'm deferring my happiness into an object and I'm deferring it to future. But nobody ever told me that Zarathustra, whether you go to school or not, whether you're a good boy or not, whether you eat your vitamins or not, whether you do it what your mommy tells you or not, you are complete, you are love, you are whole. Because it doesn't matter what I do. Of course, years and years after, through intense search and a lot of suffering, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of heartbreaks, it made me realize that I was always complete. And I'm always complete. And love doesn't come from the outside, especially not the woman. I am the one who generates it. It's because it's my natural birthmark. I was born birthright. It's my natural birthright. I was born with it. It's my very true nature and yours. Love is here. Not dad or mom gives it to you. It's not an object that someone can give it to you. You are love. But you're brainwashed in this, on this imprint that it comes from the outside. Acceptance, self-acceptance. How many of you, how many people I've met, myself included, okay, in my life and in my spiritual career that have come to me and they tell me they have serious issues of loving themselves and accepting yourselves? And what do they do? They do therapy for it. But it won't work. Because A, you don't know the root cause of it. B, you're trying to fix something in your psyche, in the realm of thoughts and emotion, instead of the recognition of the truth of who you are. And realizing the illusion. You remember I said, maybe you can find out who you are, but you can find out who you're not. Maybe I can't find the truth of who I am, but I can at least figure out what is it I'm not. So, I'm deeply conditioned, brainwashed, to believe that love is an object. And all these movies and these songs... All oh, millions of movies I've made. How many movies you, you've watched that the boy and the girl, they're deeply in love with each other, but they can't be together because they're from different classes or uh, of society or, or one is super rich, the other one is poor, and, and they finally, at the end, they don't get to each other, and the girl or the guy goes and commits suicide because... He didn't get to his love or she didn't get to his love or whatever and or you have to have your man or woman in order to be happy and to be complete so no wonder we got this deep yearning of constantly looking and constantly feeling incomplete and inadequate because I haven't found my love in this life because I'm constantly projecting it that it's something outside of myself. It's out there. And I need to find her. And sometimes I do. I have found her. The only thing, it doesn't last very long. In my case, it's been that way. Some people, I know some of you, you've been with your partner all of your life. And good for you. I mean, great. I'm really happy for you. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart. 
But that's never been my case. I had glimpses of it. But it showed up and it was incredible, but it always disappears. Until I realized through pain and suffering, I realized that it's here. It's not out there. No woman on this planet can make me complete. No man on this planet can make you complete. Because you are complete. You just don't know it. Now, let me explain one other thing. Because this is a juicy conversation, this is a great topic, and it's deep, and it's vast, and there's a lot of different areas of it that needs to be covered, and I may miss some of it. Later on, I'm going to sit down and watch the tape and take some notes and see if I missed out, because this is a huge topic. This is the very foundation. What we're talking about today, it's very, very important. It's very deep. This is something the humanity is struggling with and suffering from it. We all at one point or another deal with it. And we need to understand this because this understanding of this is a revolution. If we understand this, we have we are able to take a major leap a quantum leap to a higher consciousness because this is holding us back this is our major hang up major and we've been into this go round and round and round and round and round Thousands of books are written about finding love, thousands of workshops, so many different people are lecturing about it. But we have to get to the roots, the root of it, in order to be able to transform something, you have to go to the root of it. And you can't unless you question it. You're questioning things. And you're willing to look because sometimes it may scare you what you discover. But, it, but trust me, it's worth it. It's worth it to go deep inside and discover the truth of who you are because it's everything it transforms everything your life will change completely utterly for better and then you have an impact on your surround in on your environment but this is important Nobody can give you love because you are the source of love yourself. I'm not saying that you come across people you love and they love you and that's fake and it's phony. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm going to get into that too. 